Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jason Turley, and in today's video, I will be giving my initial thoughts as well as answering a few frequently asked questions about Hack the Box's Certified Penetration Testing Specialist PATH exam. So for anyone who's unfamiliar, Hack the Box is an online cybersecurity trading platform. They have virtual machines that they call boxes that you can practice penetration testing against. Within that, they have Hack the Box Academy, which is their learning platform that has some structured courses that they call modules that will teach you a specific topic or tool or technique. You can see two certifications listed here. The one for penetration testing is the one I'll be focusing on, but they also have one for bug bounty hunting. You can see here that the CPTS, the penetration testing one, has 28 modules included, while the bug bounty only has 20. Let's click on exam information. So here's a brief overview. It is a highly hands-on cert that assesses the candidate's penetration testing skills. Certification holders will possess technical competency in ethical hacking and pen testing at an intermediate level. I'll get into whether or not beginners should attempt this later on in the video. They will be able to spot security issues and, and identify avenues of exploitation that may not be immediately apparent. They can think outside the box, chain multiple vulnerabilities to showcase maximum input, and they can help organizations remediate vulnerabilities through commercial grade pen testing reports. It shows that the target audience are penetration testers, security analysts, and other IT security personnel. They go into the knowledge domains that you will be learning and tested on. So pen testing methodologies, information gathering and recon, attacking Windows and Linux, Active Directory. So think a Windows network, a corporate environment, web application, how to exploit something manually and through the use of automated tools, finding vulnerabilities, pivoting to other machines and boxes in the network, post-exploitation, such as like password cracking, and how to escalate your privileges to either the root user on Linux or the administrator user on Windows. And then finally, how to write a report. For the exam, you have to perform a black box web, external, and internal pen test a black box pen test means that you have little to no information at all about the target network. You're going in blind. You can use their provided pwn box or you can use your own VM. Upon starting the exam, a letter of engagement will be provided that clearly states all of the details, requirements, objectives, and the scope. All candidates need to perform the required pen test activities. All you need is a stable internet and a VPN. And again, the cert is up to date and applicable for pen testers that focus on both pen testing and professional communication findings. Whew. So that's the overview. Here's some prerequisites. You can read that. I'll leave a link to this here in the description. I'm not gonna read it all verbatim to you guys. However, a unique thing about this certification or the exam rather, in order to even take an attempt at the exam, you must complete the pen testing job role path completely, 100%. So let's focus on that for a second. As you saw earlier, the job role path for pen testing has 28 modules that I will browse over quickly. You can see here, my progress bar is at 12.8%. I purchased access to this content about two weeks ago. I'm 12% done. The estimated time is about 41 days on average to complete this course. So just browsing some of the modules, some of the things you'll be learning we see network enumeration with Nmap. We see footprinting, which I've completed only 40%. I seem to be dragging my feet on that. More information gathering, vulnerability assessment, file transfers, shells and payloads, Metasploit, password attack, and so on and so forth. So there's really a lot of modules. There's really a lot of content. All right, so now I'll answer some frequently asked questions about the path and about the certification overall. Disclaimer, I should have mentioned this earlier, but disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Hack the Box in any way, shape, or form. I paid for all of this completely out of pocket, out of my own free will, and I just want to share my initial thoughts and reviews with you guys. So first question, is this realistic for beginners to achieve this? I believe if you're a complete beginner with absolutely zero security or IT background whatsoever, I would not recommend starting this course necessarily. It's very hands-on. It assumes you know basic Linux command line, so bash, networking, 
and operating system fundamentals. These are things that might completely overwhelm a beginner. So before starting this career path, perhaps either do other modules from Hack the Box or go to Try Hack Me's uh, Complete Beginner Path or their Junior Penetration Path, which I believe are pretty much free. You can also supplement this with watching CompTIA Security Plus videos. I believe Professor Messer is hands down the best content creator for CompTIA resources. He'll get you up to speed on all the fundamental cybersecurity and IT buzzwords and lingo, things like the different malware classes and computer networking devices. And after you build some type of familiarity with that and how to use the bash command line, how to use the Windows command line, then I think this would be a good certification for you guys to go after. Next question, the pricing options. How much does this cost? So a voucher for the exam costs 210 US dollars, and that gives you two exam attempts. So if you fail the first one, you can still take the second one. However, as I stated earlier, you need to complete the penetration tester job role path before you can even attempt the exam. So the question is, how do you want to pay for that path? Well, there are a few ways. So the first listed way here is the silver annual subscription. This is what I ended up going for. It gives you access to all modules up to and including tier two modules. So modules in Hack the Box Academy are listed from tier zero to tier four, and you get access to all the tier two modules. So this includes everything you need for both certifications, the penetration testing one and the bug bunny hacking one and you get one exam voucher per year that you can redeem for either one of those exams. This costs 490 USD a year, which I think is a good price considering things from offensive security, like OSCP or OSED, can be at least a grand, if not more. There's also the student subscription exam voucher, which is $8 a month. If you have a, a .edu email address, it's only $8 a month, which is great. That will give you access to both the penetration testing path and the bug bounty path. However, you have to pay for the exam voucher on your own. That's not included. Lastly, you can just purchase the pen tester path module and the exam voucher. This will cost about $410. So if you know 100%, hey, I just want to take this exam, and in order to do that, I need to complete the path, you can do this. However, for $410, I thought it was worth paying the extra 80 bucks and just getting an annual subscription that gives me access to all tier two content. But to each their own, just to take a look at the silver annual plan just a bit further, we're back here on my uh, user dashboard, my profile. We see it's 490 a year. You get access to all tier two modules. You get access to the entire bug bounty and the pen tester uh, job role path. You get unlimited pwn box usage, which is their online virtual machine environment. It's just Parrot OS, which is similar to Kali Linux. And these additional benefits that are highlighted here, you get access to their Discord that has exam guidance and tips and feedback. You don't have to wait to unlock any of the modules. It's cheaper than buying through cubes, which is their, um, their currency. You can see over here, like 200 cubes, 500 cubes and you can toggle between which exam voucher you want to use. You're not locked in to either the bug bounty or the pen testing one. Let's take a quick look at their modules. So on, I'm on the module homepage. You can see that there's different categories, fundamental, easy, medium, and hard, in tiers zero through four. And these are on offensive, defensive, or general security topics. So if we just look at this first one, it's blind SQL injection. This is tier three. So I don't have access to this because my subscription only includes tier two and below. If I want to unlock it, I need to spend 500 of their cube points. You can see here in the top left of my profile, I only have 70 cube points. How do you get these cubes, whatever they're called, these boxes? You get them by completing uh, modules, right? So you see here, I completed pen testing process. That's 10 points. This one is 10 points and so on and so forth. So you unlock them just by learning and going out and doing these exercises and completing them. So 
So that's neat, I guess. I'm not in love with how they handle this. Like for 490, I, I guess I was expecting a little bit more access to some of these things, but it is what it is. Still amazing content. If I just click here, um, tier two, we see that there's tons and tons of stuff, more than I can probably get through in a, a few months or a year, right? It'll even tell you here, part of silver annual subscription, so you don't have to unlock it. So overall, for 490 bucks or $8 a month if you're a student, I think this is an amazing deal. Next question, what is Pwnbox and how is it? So Pwnbox is Hack the Box's version of TryHackMe's Attack Box. This is totally in the browser, a virtual machine. TryHackMe likes to use Kali Linux. Hack the Box uses Parrot OS. These are both just penetration testing based Linux distributions that have a bunch of tools for scanning and enumeration and hacking. And for a VM, it's fine. It can be kind of finicky because it is all in the browser. So sometimes it can be a bit slow. Sometimes it can have copy and paste issues, but it gets the job done. How long will this path take to complete? Hack the Box states that on average, the CPTS and the penetration testing module would take about 41 days on average to complete. Your mileage may vary depending on how much experience you have in security already. If you already know how to use a lot of these tools, you can probably breeze through it in less time. And for the exam, once you redeem your voucher, you have 10 full days to complete the exam which is their penetration test scenario. And after you do that, you have an additional two days, I believe, to submit a report. So that's a lot of time, which I enjoy. There's not like a reason to take off work or schedule a weekend to do the exam. You have 10 full days to do it at your leisure whenever works best for you, which I think is really, really awesome. Next question, why choose this over CEH or OSCP? So Certified Ethical Hacker, CEH, and OSCP are two other offensive security related and penetration testing certifications, which are pretty big in this industry. And for me personally, I think that the Hack the Box pen testing modules and certification, it was just a better deal for me financially. Like I said, it's significantly cheaper. You get tons of content, you get hands-on experience, everything is well-written, every module has cheat sheet that composes a list of a bunch of the commands and the syntax. There's a lot of links to additional resources. It's like a true academy. It's a true learning environment. It's a true, basically online school that has all these classes, all these modules for you to use. And I like that. And the price in particular is about half the cost of some of the stuff from offensive security. And so I, I, I just, for the time being, I'm going with that from what I've heard. This exam, I haven't taken it yet, but this exam is harder than the OSCP, so we'll see. And also, what I've been told from others in this scene is that everything you need to pass the exam is included within the course. And for me, that's huge. I've heard that that's not really the case for the OSCP. For the OSCP, maybe things have changed over the past few years, but it's usually understood that you go through their course, and then you do hack the box and try hack me and you kind of just grind until you're ready to take their exam, which that's not the case here. Everything that's in the test will be in the course material. However, this is a new certification. It hasn't been around that long, meaning it hasn't really made a name for itself yet. It's nowhere near the level of CEH and OSCP in terms of marketing power and advertising budget and bypassing HR filters. It's kind of controversial, kind of debatable, but it's widely accepted that if you have OSCP, that's pretty much an automatic job interview for a lot of companies, hands down. So do what you want with that information. However, I'm going after the CPTS, and perhaps in the future, they're a bug bounty hacker one, the CBBH. Next question, any note taking tips that you'd care to share? So I've been using Notion to take my notes for this. I like their clean user interface. You can write your notes in Markdown and you can either use the website or the app for seamless integration between a computer, a laptop, and phone, a tablet. So here's a quick look at my notes. I can't share too much because a lot of this is um, paid content and I don't wanna 
expose any of that. So I have my notes here. I have like a heading for notes for the cheat sheets that are provided at the end of the module and like some checklists. And each of these contained pages. So like sub section, sub notes. I can click on them, open it up, and I can break it down. All right, cool. Here's everything for surface scanning. I have Nmap, which is the network mapping tool. So here's a basic scan of ports, Nmap, and then this IP address. And you see there's a code block here and I can do syntax highlighting. I specify bash, but if this was, um, I don't know, C++, you could change it there. So I think Notion is neat. It's really clean. It's free to make an account. You could also take those cheat sheets and like back them up on GitHub or just download them to your computer. I'm not going to showcase those simply because they're paid for content. Uh, last question I have here is how is the exam? And unfortunately, I don't know. I have not completed the path yet. You need 100%. You can see that I'm at 12.8%. I'll make a second update video in review once I finish the exam, let you guys know exactly how that went as much as I can. And I will also include any resources I've used. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have any further questions, anything I didn't answer. I'll leave links in the description for the Hack the Box FAQ and pricing and all that stuff. Unfortunately, I can't get too detailed on like these modules and exactly what is in them, but I do believe that everything is well written and easy to follow. There's lots and lots of examples. I encourage you to copy and paste everything you can into your notes. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Take it easy, guys, and see you in the next video.